And in court today, we learned that Stewart is from Rochester, and a handful of Raven Cooper's family members were in court for his arraignment. We spoke with them outside after the arraignment. We spoke to his mother, and she told me that it was very difficult for her to sit there and look at the man police say killed her son, but it also did bring her some relief. My son definitely shouldn't have been gone before me, you know. It was not expected. After more than two months, Mahogany Dodd received a call last night. The police have arrested the man they believe shot and killed her 16-year-old son, Raven Cooper. We screamed, you know, um, just joy that, that, you know, now my son can at least rest in peace and we can be a little settled as far as him not walking these streets anymore, you know, because somebody else could have got hurt by this person. Her son was in the eighth grade at the North Star Education Program. Dodd says he was just about to learn how to drive and had so much to look forward to. You know, and um, I mean, I, I can't have my son back, you know, that's the truth. But him being here, that right there is a big relief, you know. Though it puts a knot in my stomach to see him, I'm glad they got him. According to court paperwork, 21-year-old Chauncey Stewart shot Raven Cooper just before 10 p.m. on July 1st on Bay Street. Cooper later died at Rochester General Hospital. Rochester police won't comment on what may have been a motive or if the victim and suspect knew each other, but they do say good police work is what put Stewart behind bars. We had a, a, a want out for this individual and they, there was a call of a domestic violence and they, they put the person's name over there. And Officer Michael Asbeck uh, remembered and uh, radioed ahead to the patrols that this guy was actually wanted for murder. Oh, it's been real hard. It's real painful. It, you know, I, I just really hope no other mother has to go through this. The judge ordered Stewart to be sent to the Monroe County Jail with no bail and no release. He's expected to appear back in court September 18th. Janet. You certainly feel that family's pain. Did Stewart yeah. say anything during his court appearance? Well, after he entered his plea of not guilty, he was walking out and turned and said something to the Cooper family. I wasn't able to hear exactly what he said, but the judge did and ordered him to either apologize immediately or spend 15 days in jail. Now, Stewart did turn to the family and apologize, but by then most of them had already left the courtroom. Amanda Shavari with our report live tonight. Thank you.